burning all this firewood that's just been sitting here since we moved in. It's been a mess, so we're tidying up. Cleaning up the house a little bit, trying to get some projects refocused, and burning up all this just scrap boxes and trees and dry brush that'll make a good fire, and it's making a great fire. And we're going to put a fire pit here next. We're going to move our compost over here to over there on the side of the house. And um, yeah, more projects are coming up. But for now, we're starting fires. Today we are moving compost piles as per Kirk's request to uh, the front of the garden. We're going to get some better, better blend. Right now it's just the old grass that we had to dig up for the medicine wheel and for the plot you see there. You hit a hole, Johnny hit a hole. <laughs> we got power through. There you go. Where are we putting it? On the other side of the house. Other side of the house, ah, yeah. Right. What's up guys, quick update, we just used the power of nextdoor.com to make our second sale of grapefruit juice, which is delicious by the way. Um, this is very exciting for me, it's, I'm, I'm realizing that um, there's ways to, to connect with my community peer to peer to where I can you know, make money just from trading with people for fruit and uh, growing my own vegetables in my backyard. So it's a pretty exciting step forward and it's just gonna get better and better. If I encourage y'all to check out what you, you guys could find on your next door app. So our first sale was really successful. Uh, we sold two bottles to a, a woman and she really liked them. She liked them so much she bought them for uh, all her coworkers. So now we're coming back with six more bottles. We just juiced away my morning. And uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> It's like a little bit fizzy. Don't it's, like, it. it's kind of like something. Yeah, don't chug that one. And take a shot of it. It's different. It's really good for you. Good for your stomach. Actually, that is really good. That's, that, really, that's good. really good for you. It's kind of like yogurt. It's like a probiotic for your stomach. It'll prevent your teeth. It's like limiting. Limiting. We just connected with the local business in our area. And, and just like I said earlier, man, uh, these peer-to-peer -peer interactions, if, you, if you're able to make a product and sell it out of your home to your neighbors, you guys are able to connect and uh, find different ways to help each other out. So this, this company said that they might be interested in uh, etching on our bottles for us to have a more professional look and uh, this is just gonna be cool. We trade that for, you know, juice or something like that. These are the connections that can be made in your community. So all you gotta do is try. It's all, this is our first customer. All you gotta do is try. I just wanted to give you an update on what I'm doing personally to try to ensure my freedom coming up here in the future. Um, I recently made a big step, which was announced to my boss. I'm, I'll be quitting my job in the next four months. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is to just jump, go both feet in, and uh, really push myself to, to find other ways to make money. So that being said, I don't have much time to start making money, so we've already been on it this week. I've made this fine meter right here, the egg race meter, which egg war means the marketplace, and I'm gonna be creating our own neighborhood marketplace. So we've been selling grapefruit juice, kombucha, all the veggies we can and uh, you know we got microgreens coming uh, uh, follow the Houston uh, Freethinker house if you want to get in touch with us to buy some veggies if you don't live in the area then you know start your own Freethinker house and sell veggies or find veggies around your area but as of right now my goal is to fill this meter up $400 in four weeks which is it's less money than I need to make per month but it's a start I want to get the ball rolling and I want to push myself to fill this meter up. So, 30 days, here we go. 
Hey, recently we had a freeze, and so we had to harvest a whole bunch of crops before they died, unfortunately, after the froze came in, a bunch of them died. But in the meantime, we harvested 20 to 30 bags of kale and salad mix. And so we were, I've spent the last week selling this via last door, uh, nextdoor.com. And as Johnny said in the last little segment, we've made 92 bucks. Uh, a lot of it came through these salad greens. Some of it came through with grapefruit juice, but it just shows you what we can do with our little vegetable plot here. Yeah, it's like the first little hiccup we've had so far. As you can see, uh, we lost some, uh, some lettuce. Uh, the kale is the kale's the chard pretty is resilient. Shard's, shard's gone. But uh, don't worry, guys. We're going to be working hard to get it back going and give them the nutrients they need to uh, survive the rest. Flowers are trying. Flowers it's going to be all right, guys. It's going to be okay. Well, there you go, guys. Another update from the Freethinker House. Thank you guys for supporting us by following us on Facebook at the Freethinker House Facebook page. And if you want to support us on a monthly basis so we can invest that money back into community projects, please support us at patreon.com slash freethinkerhouse. Thank you so much for your support. Please continue watching and sharing this with your friends and family. Talk to you soon. Peace.